going to learn about the short A sound today. So we had started watching it yesterday. I knew that activity I had for you was like really confusing. So we're going to move on and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. So we're going to talk about the short A sound. I want you to put your hand out like you're holding an apple. Okay, we're going to go a, uh, a, uh, apple. Look at my mouth. See how my sound comes sort of from the back of my throat. All right, we're going to do it again. Ready? Get your hand out. A, uh, a, uh, apple. It's a short A sound, because A's, all the vowels, have two sounds, short and long. And we'll talk about long later, but we're just focusing on the short sound. A, uh, a, uh, apple, that sound. So then we're going to look at the word cat. Cat, a, uh, at. Hear that A? It's short. We don't hear the sound, so it's a short A. Ready? Cat, a, uh, at. See how my hand's out here? It sort of sounds like apple. Now, once we know that pattern, most short A sounds happen with between consonants. And we talked about this yesterday. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Okay? I'll put them over there. These are our vowels. And I'll put Y sometimes. Okay? Most short A sounds happen between two consonants. So we have consonant vowel, consonant, okay? We have consonant, vowel, consonant. So let's say this word, cat, a, at, short a. Now that we know this is the pattern, I thought we can think of a word family here. So we have cat, pat. Can you think of a word that rhymes that belongs in the same word family? Hmm. I just thought of the word Consonant, vowel, consonant. Sa, a, at. It's a short vowel sound. All right? Let's see if we can think of one more that would belong in this word family. So I'll give you a second to think. Cat, pat, sat. Oh, I got one. Not really a nice word, but I got one. See if you thought of it. Bat. Okay? Not a very nice word to say. We don't want to say that to anybody. But. It does belong in this family, and it's a short A. So we have consonant, vowel, consonant. Sa, a, a. All right? So here's a word family. They all have the same ending, okay? Let's go over here and read these words. Let's see if they have short A sounds. Ba, a, at. Does that have a short A sound? Do you hear that a, a, apple sound? I do. And if you look, just because the word's getting bigger, you can see, though, it's still consonant, vowel, consonant. Remember, consonants are any letters in the alphabet that aren't a vowel. And if you remember, our vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So back has a short A. Let's try this one. Dr, A, ag. That also has that short A sound. I put my hand out for that apple. Dr, A, ag. So I have a consonant, vowel, consonant. There's my vowel again. In between, sandwiched in between two consonants. Ready? Clap, a, a. Another short A. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Here's a big word. Let's sound it out. We have the ST sound. St, and. That's a short A sound too. So we go consonant, vowel, consonant. Match. Ma, a, atch. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So these are all short A sounds. So you can use that pattern. When you see that consonant, vowel, consonant, you can try to, you know, most of the time, the English language is crazy. I'm not going to say all the time, but most of the time, that's going to be a short A sound. So when you get a big word like this, back, pat, you can, it helps you to read when you get bigger words. So let's see this, back, short A too. It's in between two consonants. Sandwiches in between. Dra a a. What happens if we made this word dragging? All right. If we are dragging something, we just added the ending, but it still has that short A. Or clapping. All right. Clap a a. Clapping. Um, and, and we 
to make that standing. Remember that ing sound makes the ing ma a atch matching. Adding the ing. All right. So that is our short a sound. A a a. You're gonna do an activity and try to find um, all the short a words that you can. Good luck.